In this video, we're discussing why it is our role to be the one who can prescribe and adapt the load for our clients. If you go to a doctor, it's their role to prescribe you the medicine that you require and to give you that personalized service. If you go to a personal trainer, it's their role to give you the reps and the weights and the exercises you need to get the results you're looking for. I see the role of a group class instructor in a reformer studio as like a personal trainer but in that group class setting. And it's our role to make sure that every client is getting an optimal experience. So our ability to adapt the spring tension or the weights they're using, our ability to adapt the body position to help them get a better experience is really, really important. That's going to be the determining factor whether they're going to get the results that we intended or not. It's our attention to detail, our ability to observe and to make changes. So one of the things which can hold instructors back from making changes is the perception that if I make the change for them that it might be seen as negative. But the reality is we actually control how things are perceived. For example, if I was to go and have every interaction, let's say out of five interactions with a client, four of them are positive, upbeat, smiling, eye contact, enthusiasm, and one of those interactions was making an adjustment in springs or dumbbells, that interaction could never be perceived as negative because overwhelmingly all the interactions I've had have been positive. So if I was only ever to interact with someone if they were doing something wrong, all of a sudden then I change what that means and that interaction can then be seen or perceived as negative because if I only ever speak to you if you're doing something wrong and all of a sudden look out, here I come. So if I'm always engaging with everybody, if I'm always talking with everybody, if I'm always offering encouragement, whenever I do make a change here or there, the change is to make it more optimal for you. Whether that's giving you more support or giving you less support. Maybe it's giving you more challenge with a different body position or with more weights. The reason I'm making the change is the same for everybody. It's to make it more optimal for you as an individual. So the main thing here is if you care enough that you want to make a change to help them get a more optimal experience, that's the thing that matters the most. If you're always interacting with everybody and then you care enough to be able to make changes for people, you're going to have this experience so much after the class where people are going to say, oh my God, thank you so much. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I could use that spring. I didn't know I could use that weight. When we make these changes for people, we give them confidence because we believe in them and we show them what they're capable of. So that is going to be a huge benefit you can bring to your clients is giving them the ability to try things which they wouldn't normally try. And this is an educated decision you're making based on your observation of their movement speed, their range of motion. For example, if the client is using dumbbells and we're doing a bicep curl, if they're capable of keeping their arms straight and moving in any position with a dumbbell, that tells you it's not enough weight to be effective in a bicep curl. If you're doing an exercise like a standing split with heavy spring tension and the goal is to push the carriage out as far as possible and that client is slamming the carriage into the end, there's not enough resistance to be a challenge. Whenever you see these things, all you have to do is make the adjustment and let the client know, hey, this is what you need. I've, this is the challenge you need. Basically, I'm here to help you. That's too easy. Go for this. And the more fun and... Um, you can be with that, then whatever you normalize will become normal. And if you're doing this for everybody all the time, it can never be perceived as negative. So take that on board, make it personal for yourself. I want you to try and recognize high performance, challenge the people that want more of a challenge. Look out for people if the spring tension isn't adequate enough for them to support them in bodyweight exercises. Be the one that makes the changes and see how much the clients improve over time.